Holy crap, guys. Look how pretty that looks. I mean, it is super clear. We've got a fishing rod. We're gonna see if we can't do a little bit of damage out here. This is beautiful. Can y'all see the wife right there? Let's zoom in on her. Oh yeah, she's setting up the tent for us. My goodness, it is a beautiful, beautiful day. Let's, uh, let's go have some fun. Hopefully not getting eaten by a shark. Try to wade on out here and uh, see if we can't catch a couple things. Hopefully not flood y'all. That would be nice not to flood, uh, not to flood the GoPro. And all we're fishing with is a nice little jig head with a little bitty white sea shad with pink tail. Just something a little more natural as it swims through the water. Looks nice swimming through the water. A 12 pound fluoro leader on that, uh, on that little jig head with the uh, swim bait. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna try to walk out here a decent bit, get past the little break points of these waves so we don't get splashed too bad. And we're gonna try to cast in this deeper part. Same idea as bass fishing. Um, heat of the day, the fish go a little deeper. I'll try not to get y'all wet, but I can't make any promises. So if y'all get splashed and get stuff on the lens, my bad. All right, let's see if we can. There we go. We got that one out there a pretty good bit. Always do the stingray shuffle. We've already seen one stingray today. And we definitely don't want to get step on a stingray and get stuck. That definitely got you all wet. Well, y'all know as soon as I got out here, it was slick calm this morning. And as soon as I get out here with the GoPro and the fishing pole, it's going to get choppy again. Right, ladies and gentlemen we're about to go well actually let's start off here i just had one of the worst live streams i've ever had and if you were in that live stream i am very sorry um internet connection is super super bad here um i mean it takes like four hours for me to upload a 10 minute video which kind of that's not good it takes me about 10 minutes back home so that's crazy um but we as in the wife and i we're about to go to the Donna K, which is a shrimp boat that got beached just before the hurricane. And the hurricane didn't make it any better. I actually pushed it further into shore. And uh, now it's kind of like a tourist attraction. People love going there. Um, I still don't think a lot of people know about it. So we're gonna go get some pictures with it and just walk to it. It's about a mile walk and uh, a little baby in there uh, may hamper the walk a little bit. Uh, We've been having a little bit of trouble walking in the sand when we get we'll get a little tired. So, and by we I mean she. So we're we're gonna rude. we're it's rude. I'm not exactly the most I don't I don't have a lot of cooth. You know what I mean? <laughs> I don't have a lot of cooth. If you don't know that word, kids, that's your word of the day. Cooth. Go look it up. So some of the stuff you're actually going to see from the other night where we caught that little catfish on the beach, and we left you sitting under the uh, umbrella. This is the same beach. I didn't know the Donica even existed out here. Uh, she told me about it once we got back and I realized I was probably about 200 feet from it and just never noticed it. So we're back here walking. We're gonna walk all the way down this time to, uh, to see it. All right, we've been walking for a while. It's a little treacherous, um, especially if you've got a, uh, I don't know, how big would you be? Like three pounds, two and a half pounds, something like that yeah. in your belly, little baby in your belly. A little Riley baby in your belly. 
and uh, we can actually see the shrimp boat now. So we're uh, we're almost there, and we're gonna flip y'all around and let y'all see it too when we get there. It's pretty cool. Um, the story behind it is is the the guy who was chartered to bring it to wherever he was gonna bring it fell asleep and it beached itself right here on the Cape, uh, the very south end of the Cape. And that happened uh, like a few weeks or a week before the uh, Hurricane Michael came through. I believe that's why he was chartered to move it. And they tried to recover it after the hurricane. The hurricane washed so much water up that it actually moved it further onto the beach. Um, and they've tried to recover it and a boat that size, that heavy on the beach is very difficult to recover. So there was a failed attempt, then the owner of the vessel died, and now it just sits here. Um, the last time they tried to move it was in March. And again, now it's just become like a tourist attraction. And for the most part, it should be out of the water. Um, and we are at low tide. We were told to come at low tide, so it's easier to access it. But people have been climbing on it, climbing in it. I don't know that we're gonna be able to do that, but we're gonna at least get some good pictures with it. There she is. I mean, she's rudders deep. Props in the water, that's rough. That's really bad. Definitely tell she was rocked a little bit by the storm. What do you think of that? That's it's interesting. I mean, on this side, she's like real deep. I mean, she's deep in the sand over here. The other side actually looks better. I don't know if y'all understand, based on the other side, just how buried in the sand this thing is and how difficult it would be to get her out i mean she could very well stay here for forever all right guys we're gonna try to get on here in the old wheelhouse there actually was a wheel here, um, and it has been taken. Still got your your levers for uh, power, your throttles, captain's chair, sleeping quarters. You still got a microwave. This is just crazy. walk this way try not to do anything to get cut there's a I mean this thing just got rocked. absolutely got rocked all your cables you'd keep all your shrimp down in there your brine tank can you tell I've been watching Big Shrimpin'? I loved that show back in the day, Big Shrimpin'. History Channel, what'd you do with Big Shrimpin'? That was one of my favorite shows. All those folks out of Bayou Labatry, Alabama. I mean, this is just crazy. All the shrimp nets are still here. You can definitely see it's just been washed around, though. Anyway, we're going to get some good pictures, and we're going to probably head out.
Ma'am, I'm Deputy Zero. Can you tell me what happened? Um, I stepped on a crab. Did he scare you? Yes. I feel personally attacked. By the crab? Yes, it was a hate crime. I don't think that constitutes a hate crime. I don't think that's the definition. Well, I hated it. Hmm. Did he almost pinch you? Huh? Let's talk to the defendant. Sir, what'd you do? Hmm? Did you almost pinch my wife with those pinchers? Huh? Huh? I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to let him walk, ma'am. He's not speaking. <laughs> okay. Go back in the water, buddy. We hit him with a restraining order. We should be good for the rest of the trip. Well, that's gonna do it for this vlog um, with the old Donna Kay in the background right there. We came, we saw, I don't know that we conquered anything, but we came and we saw. That's gonna do it for this vlog of the vacation. I think we've probably got one more left. Um, we've got two days left and uh, that's probably gonna do it for the vacation vlogs. And then it's back to the old, the old grind, getting on the water and uh, ripping some old largey lips. So, what do you mean, huh? You make fun of these, the way I talk to the camera. I'm, yeah, I'm putting you on blast. <laughs> Don't make fun of the way I talk to the camera. Don't These make are... sing a copyrighted song. Oh, she's she's already found out if she don't want to be on camera, she just sings a copyrighted song um, because she knows if I ever get monetized, I'll be flagged for it because um, she's clever like that. Anyway, we're gonna get out of here and uh, we'll catch you on the next one. See ya. Yeah.